Good morning, children, and welcome to Sunday School. May God bless you all. Before we go into our lesson, let us pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, we'd like to thank you for today. Thank you for bringing us to Sunday School. Father Lord, come and teach us. Father Lord, send your Holy Spirit to interpret the lesson and write it on the fleshy part of our hearts. Father Lord, come and save us, sanctify and baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. And Father Lord, come and heal those who are sick. Father Lord, we want to reign with you eternally. Bless us today, for we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So children, for today's lesson, we are going to learn lesson 13a and the title says, Joseph Dreams. Our memory verse says, I the Lord will speak unto him in a dream. Numbers chapter 12 verses 6. Our Bible text reading is taken from Genesis chapter 37 verses 1 to 11. We are going to read a few verses, so I'm going to read. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. Verses 5, And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. Verses 7, for behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and lo, my sheaves arose and also stood upright. And behold, your sheaves stood round about and made obeisance to my sheaves. Verses 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it his brethren. And behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me may god bless the reading of his word does any one of you had a dream before while sleeping we all have dreams while we are sleeping but not all dreams are from god but here in the story we see that joseph dreams was from god God spoke to Joseph in a dream. And we know that we've got different ways of passing message. It can be through person to person, or it can be through talking. It can be through telephone or through our phones or through WhatsApp. Those are the different ways we can pass message among ourselves. But God spoke to Joseph in a dream so joseph dreamt while they were in the field binding sheaves of wheat with his brothers so his brother's sheaves of wheat bowed down to joseph's sheaves of wheat so joseph went and told his brothers about the dream but his brothers were angry they said to him 
Do you think we are going to bow down to you? And Joseph dreamt another dream again, a second time. This time he dreamt about the sun, the moon, and the 11 stars bowing down to him. And he went, he told his father and his brothers again, and they were even more angrier. But Joseph was never discouraged. Joseph was a saved person. Joseph was faithful. He never hated his brothers because he knew that dreams which he was showed by God indicated about his future plans. And these future plans were, were good to, to, to them, to them all. And today we see that God is some, he revealed to us in dreams, through his written words, through our teachers, and also through the Holy Spirit. They all reveal our future plans. So we need to pray to God today for God to save us, to sanctify us, to baptize us with the Holy Ghost so he can reveal to us good plans for our lives. And we see, as we read in the word of God, we see that Joseph's dream came true and his brothers were, were not hating him again. They were happy for him. They were grateful. They, were, they, they loved him more. So we want to thank God for today, children, that God is there for us to reveal his will for us, to reveal good plans for us. So we need to pray for God to save us, to sanctify us, to baptize us. And thank you, children, for listening to the lesson. And may God bless you. So the activities for this lesson is about a puzzle. You need to look for many words you can find in the puzzle about the lesson we have learned. Let's see how many words you can find. Ages 2 to 5. Color the picture to show what colors were used in Joseph's coat of many colors. And may God bless you all. Next lesson is lesson 13b, titled, Sold as a Slave. Bye-bye, children. Bye. <laughs>
we are going to draw this lesson draw it all find out ourselves whether these prophecies has actually come true let's take our bible and see for ourselves we go to start to read so many verses and link it up with the new testament old testament to the new testament open to the book of Isaiah Old Testament 28 verse 16 okay are you there yes 28 to 16 therefore thus said the Lord God behold I lay in Zion for a foundation a stone tried to a precious cornerstone a sure foundation he that believeth shall not make haste now we describe from our clip about the foundation jesus is our foundation let's see in we go to first peter quickly first peter First Peter chapter two verse six. Verse six. First Peter, I read. Wherefore also it is contained in the Scripture. Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, a leg precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. See, it's the same thing they are talking about. What Isaiah prophesy is what Peter is saying as well. So say, we go to Isaiah again, uh, chapter seven, chapter seven of Isaiah, chapter seven of Isaiah, fourteen. Are you are you there? Yes. Chapter 7 is uh, 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall be called his name Emmanuel. Now, let's go whether a child was actually born. Let's go to chapter 1, Matthew chapter 1, Matthew 1. Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on his wise on, on this wise when as his mother Mary was exposed to Joseph before they came together she was found with a child of the Holy Ghost Now let's go to Zachariah also prophesied for us there. Let's go to Zachariah. Zachariah, are you there? Have you opened Zachariah 12, chapter 12, verse 10? Okay. The B part of it. Let's go to the and they shall look upon me whom they have pierced and they shall mourn for him as one moret for his only son and shall be in bitterness of him as one that is in bitterness of his firstborn that is what jesus will go through and those people when he comes back they will see him who they have peace now 
let's go to John the book of John the New Testament now chapter 19 19 um, verse 34 verse 34 of 19 yes but one of the soldiers with a spear pierced his side and fought with came there out blood and water blood and water that's the pierce they and they, they that means it has come through there that they actually piercing the soldier went in and pierced the side blood and water came out now let's go to psalm 34 Psalm 34. Yes. Psalm 34, are you there? Uh, yes. 34, 20. Verse 20. Verse 20. Yes. He kept all his bones. Not one of them is broken. None of the bones broken. That was in Psalm. And let's go to John 19 again 33 yes 33 of 19 in John but when they have come to Jesus and saw that he was dead already they break not his leg now Jesus was on the cross dead and so they wanted to try and uh, to see if they they are uh, they are actually dead, you know, other people were there, and that's the tribe just to make sure he was actually dead. They wanted to break the leg, but they didn't touch him because this is the fulfillment of that prophecy that you heard before. Now, after all this, how are you doing? with the clip of her opener about that beauty if we are saved you press hand that we are saved sanctify concentrate more feed with the holy ghost and fire to do the work of christ you can boldly tell anyone what you have found out yourself from the clip and from what we have read to find out ourselves from what the student or the young ones from the quiz we could see how they won a Mel Malaka also said about this that Jesus is coming back again as a king to rule all over and if you have this experience experiences you are saved sure you will see Jesus face to face when he come back to rule the earth as king Has this our topic, has it been able to convince you that Jesus is coming back again? So many prophecies, have they come true? Yes! From our statement today, saying sure, the statement this prophecy came true sure it came true all of them and all the ones that we are still expecting will surely come true from that cornerstone 
the foundation. Who was he pointing to? Everything was pointing to Jesus Christ, our Savior. We could see also that if you trust at that foundation who hold that big building, if you trust in Jesus, you believe from the the you believe from the birth he was re referring to the birth, uh, the the life of Jesus on earth, what he went through, the suffering of Jesus on that cross, for me and for you he suffered on that cross and died. He bled. From all the scriptures, we see that he actually suffered and died for, for every sin. We were all sinners. But Jesus took it all on that cross. The characteristics of Jesus is the cornerstone. We trust him, trust God, we bound with him, we trust him, we believe. It's our assurance in life. Though he was rejected, as the corner stood, people pass the corner, they pass the, the building and some they don't know. Yes. That corners to link is pointing, is the alignment of that building. Solid alignment. Whether there is wind, whether tornado, hurricane, uh, winter, summer, the buildings will stand. Over 100 years that building was there. Over 100 years. Now, what are you thinking? What's your conclusion? about what we have found out. We know from the quiz who won, those people that won. But what is your conclusion? Are we looking forward to the coming of Jesus Christ, our Savior? Or are you still thinking? If you are in doubt, why not pray? Pray and find out. Ask Jesus to teach you this lesson. Furthermore, you'll be glad you did. Our homework, if you look at this very closely, you see this Old Testament, link it, when you read it, link it to the New Testament. Our next lesson, next week, is Lesson 106, titled Historical Israel. Let's pray. Bow down your head. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you. For this lesson. Holy Spirit, come and interpret this lesson further into our hearts. As we have also learned from primary prayer by Joseph's dream. Lord Jesus, you are the interpreter. You interpret to us. Use this lesson to save souls. Sanctify. Fill with the Holy Ghost and fire. Let everyone that hear this lesson be turned around to look unto you, to trust you further. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Okay. God bless you.